All right, so real quick, I've noticed a lot of people using SketchUp. And I wanted to show you, hopefully in less than, let's say, seven minutes, how to bring that into Fusion, um, how to uh, bring it into a physical model that's watertight that is using parametric design and capturing its own design history, uh, render that, animate it, export the animation, uh, go back, export the now Fusion file back to a SketchUp file so you could collaborate with whoever you're working with, and that's probably good. So I'm here at 3D Warehouse with SketchUp file archive, which is .skp file type, which uh, I hadn't worked a lot with, but I, as soon as I went in and looked at it, you'll see it's just the same as a .stl file, basically, just a kind of low quality, not watertight file. So uh, that uses a lot of faces. Oh, okay, sorry. So first you gotta save your file, go do this, and you need Fusion commercial, uh, Fusion personal, no longer after the new update supports this kind of input. So you'll need someone to either transfer it over to a different file type or this. So, okay, we're here. You can see it's almost identical to STL file structure type. So we'll know that we're gonna to need to turn off our design history or the capturing of design history, but we'll turn that back on once we bring up the quality of the files. So we're gonna to go to modify this real easy. I do this a lot for 3D print files. Um, so we're just going to select some, I think they call them components, but oh, for that file type, but all right, so I'm not going to select all those pans, all that. I'm just going to do new component. You can also do new body if you didn't see that. For this example, I'm just going to do real quick. All right, I'm going to turn off all the remaining ones just so they're not distracting. Um, let's go into modify while we're still not capturing. I'm going to do surface modify there we go all right merge so we're just going to start merging these faces and i'll show you after i do one of them so see that's a much nicer face for rendering and just file quality in general so we're going to do repeat merge just knock out these um i'll call that good i'll do one leg to show you all some of the more complicated uh merges here All right, and you can do it multiple times. You shouldn't have to go into the more advanced repairs like patch and whatnot. So, yeah, it looks fine. All right, great. Let's call that good. I'm going to go into, actually, one more thing. These STLs are a lot of times they fill in any gap when they're converted over to a um, watertight model. So, behind these doors here, let's see what components are those. These two. Um, we will need to hide those. You see we have a flat surface back there, but we have a solid model now so we can go in and repair that. I'm not going to do the proper offset for an example again, but see now it's going to be a much better file when we go to animate. So let's turn those back on. You see everything. Let's go ahead and turn on our design history so that we can start documenting. And you see down here now we have a design history. I'll go ahead and show you an example of what we can do now. So if I was going to extrude something there, uh, now we have an extruded design history, um, or an extrusion in our design history. So I'm going to delete that, and let's jump into render. And that's just a basic example. So we're here. Let's throw some uh, appearance quality on there. And the legs, maybe we'll try some different walnut. Stainless steel, whatever. All right, looks great, right? Easy peasy. Um, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. You could go on and do your displays and all that, but I think this would be fine. I think I've got only visible edges showing, so okay, good. Let's go into animation and bring it in. Uh, it's gonna immediately want to capture. I'm just gonna leave that for now, but uh, let's go ahead and do a couple little camera views. I'm not going to work too hard on getting these uh, pretty, but it'll be fine. Okay, and let's make these doors operate. So with these files, again, uh, a lot of things aren't assigned, such as um, your joints aren't assigned properly. So we're going to go in and just use transform. And we're going to pick our point to do so. 
kind of pivot. Once you've set your, uh, I think that will still work. Now I'm gonna figure that one. Okay. Okay. Let's try that. All right. Uh, you've selected it, and let's go ahead and make a little rotation. Call that good. As you can see here, now it's been added. And I'll show you what that looks like. Um, so it's just animating the move. Of course, we'll get rid of that. Uh, let's stop that. It's quite confusing for y'all. So. Go back and just get here. You have to edit up those view changes, but okay. That's what I look like in the animation, of course. Let's add the second door and call it good. So another transform. And go in and pick my point. You could pick your point without pushing these buttons like I do twice. I just like to select the component real quickly. I feel like it's just better. Um, you wouldn't have to click this again. Let's open it up. I'm not too worried about angle for this example, but you definitely could. All right, that's great. Let's delete that view. That view. Oops, too small to even delete. There we go. And I know I think the first one was garbage. Um, Come on, be nice. There we go. I'm going to push each one of these out to a couple seconds so you can see what that looks like. There we go. And yeah, of course, you would organize this to go together and flow more naturally. But there we go. So very simple, uh, just animation moving around the model. You can do this with your 3D mouse or just using the globe or straining your orbit there. You see how we're zoomed in? We don't want that. Let's make that last change and call that good. So what was I seven minutes? I don't even know how far I am and I am so <laughs> cool let's see if that works. I did not because my view pushed its way forward. Sneaky. You know what? I'll call that good. Oop, no, that'd be a bad word. No, no, no. I don't want regular view. Okay. Let's see what we got. All right. Moving into a better view to see these operations happen. And there you go. Uh, of course, it would keep playing. Let's just show you how to publish it to someone. So you go to publish video, and then it will send us a .avi file which everyone knows how to use, so easy peasy. You can just play that on the internet. And actually, I it would also save to your file. So if you want to send this whole folder worth of files all at once, I'll show you how to also bring this back to a, like, uh, let's say we corrected some problems and we made some changes, or we just upgraded the file. Now we want to send it back to the client or whoever you're working with. You're going to go to export. Um, you have your file types here. I believe even the personal offers most of these file types, the personal software. So there you go, SketchUp right there. Um, and export. I'm not gonna click export because it takes forever, but it, uh, trust me, it just goes back to STL. And then once you have all that done, that's pretty much it. That's, I think I covered everything. Great. I uh, hope you all found this useful. I'll just save this video for future use.